So today we're going to start a new section of this channel for photography news. Yeah, <laughs> you get that new section and it's news. So there's our first piece of news for this new section. But to get serious, the first piece of news is regarding Canon's brand new camera, the 5D Mark IV. Canon has just released a firmware update to the 5D Mark IV, up to version 1.0.4. The firmware update fixes various issues, including communication between the camera and the SD card, something that's quite important. If you shoot in bulb mode, you might get some red down at the bottom of your image and various other fixes. I'd highly recommend to go out and get it. The link for this is below. Sony has announced that they are now number two in the full frame DSLR market in the United States. The MPD group are claiming that Sony has a 23% jump in the full frame market for cameras and lenses. This data, however, only covers January and February of this year, so it's too early to tell what the overall figures are going to be like. Uh, number one in this market is, of course, Canon. And number three, who used to hold the number two spot, is Nikon. And talking of Nikon, Nikon has announced a new camera. The D7500. Now this camera Nikon claims is for mid-range. So it's not a pro body like their Nikon D5. And it's not a beginner camera. Features include... 4K video, native ISO from 100 to 51,200, which is expandable up to 1.64 million ISO. It shoots at 8 frames a second and features a 20.9 APS-C sensor and starts off at $1,249 in the US. Something near and dear to my heart, drone sales. Drone sales up to... Something near and dear to my heart, drone sales. Drone sales more than doubled last year, with the majority of drones not being the cheap under $100, but being the slightly more expensive three to $500 range. Now, the three to $500 range will buy you a DJI Phantom 3 standard, which is an excellent drone. The MPT group states that drones have clearly left the novelty stage behind and are now a standard consumer product. Adobe has released an update for Lightroom. Features include bug fixes which fix the Hasselblad H6D50C file, a very expensive camera, being imported into Lightroom as well as support for Canon's new cameras, the EOS M6, the T7i, the EOS 77D and also the Pentax KP camera as well as new lens profiles for new lenses on the market. Canon rumours are reporting that a truck full of gear from Sony headed to NAB, the National Association of Broadcasters, it's one of the largest shows being held in Las Vegas each year, has been stolen. Now, Sony was widely reported to be launching new gear, new cameras at the NAB show this year. And now we head past the news and into the rumour mill. Canon is expected to announce a new CNE 70-200mm lens at NAB in Vegas. The CNE line is their cinema line of lenses, which are actually quite expensive, but extremely good lenses. From our top story regarding the Canon 5D Mark IV, there's a rumour going around that Canon will reportedly release yet another firmware update and this one will be a major one. This one's not just bug fixes but actually enhances the camera. There's going to be a new codec for 4K video, amongst other things. This will be a huge firmware update if, of course, it does get released. Now, just remember, these are rumours and nothing's concrete until you get it in your hands.
And sticking with Canon for the moment, Canon's next lens is rumoured to be an 85mm 1.4L IS lens. IS is for image stabilisation. This apparently will not replace the current 85 1.2L lens and will be in addition to that and is rumoured to come out in quarter two to quarter three this year. Sony has scheduled two press conferences. The first one for April 20th in London and the second for April 23rd in Las Vegas. The rumour mill of course is going wild with what might be announced at these conferences. Currently people are speculating on a, so a high-end E-mount camera. It will have a low resolution sensor around 20 megapixels. The fastest autofocus system of any Sony E-mount camera it should be able to shoot around 20 frames per second, which is massive. The 1DX Mark II that I use is currently one of the fastest camera and shoots at 14 frames per second for a 20 megapixel sensor. It will have dual SD card support, which I find a bit surprising. I'm not sure that that would actually be fast enough for 20 frames per second at full 20 megapixels. But anyway, it will have a huge buffer with unlimited, lo unlimited raw recording, a touch screen, a joystick on the back, which will be new for an E-mount camera, something similar to what's on the back of the 1DX Mac 2. It will have longer battery life, and it's rumored to be the Sony A7S 3 The S series camera has traditionally been used for video recording, not stills. Price is rumoured to be between four and five thousand dollars. Once again, this is just massive speculation about what might happen. Nobody actually knows what's going to happen at these press conferences. And that's a wrap for the first news article on this channel. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please subscribe below.